Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Essence of Shay. Let's get started. Duh, we already know it's you. Why she always gotta say what her name is? God. In today's video, I will be discussing my skincare routine. I've gotten a lot of I've gotten a lot of comments saying how people love how my skin looks without makeup. These are the things, but for like uh, I want to say a couple months ago. They, it started breaking out like OD and just getting very dry. I had to even go to like a spa to just kind of rejuvenate my skin because it was OD dry. So I had to change up some of my products and but there are some things that I have been very consistent with. So I just wanted to share with you guys and if you want to get like really simple and don't want the hubba jubba, all you need is a good facial cleanser that's not too strong, which like the lady at the spa, she like checked me on, a, like she said, people use like a lot of strong uh, cleansers to wash their face because they like that and they think that's what's clean up, but it's really stripping your skin, which and I used to use the Neutrogena, you guys might know the grapefruit, I'll put it right here, the grapefruit uh, facial cleanser. And I felt like the bubbles and whatnot, but she said that was really abrasive on the skin. So I had to switch over to a more gentle cleanser, which I loved. But yeah, all you need basically is a, a good cleanser, a good toner. You probably don't even need a toner. But a good sunscreen, especially my dark skin queens, and a good moisturizer. So first things first, and I'm sorry this looks like this, but I legit just finished washing my face. So it looks a little uh, wear and tear, but I'll try to show a picture of it without all that extra stuff. But I am using the... Uh, I don't know if you can see it. The Alafia brand, their bar soap, it's super gentle. But I felt like since I've been using this for the past three months, it improved my skin so much. This one in particular has shea butter, which is, you know, good with keeping your skin from not being dry and balancing like the dark marks and all and like fading it away and whatnot. And citrus, citrus, vitamin C is good for that as well like uh, fading the dark marks and all that jazz so this has been really good and it really washes my face it gets really especially if I didn't wear makeup I really feel cleansed when I wear makeup you know you have to do that extra step but I still feel it working and I feel a cleanse in it and this was only about four freaking dollars wear makeup you guys know um uh People usually have makeup wipes or whatever, but I found for me like a nice cleansing balm like this one from the body shop. I don't know if you could see it. Um, uh, it's the chamomile sumptuous cleansing butter. Um, uh, chemistry oil attracts oil. Um, you would think that uh, <laughs> if you put oil on an oily combination skin that will attract more oil but it actually doesn't because a lot of uh, makeup removers leave the skin very dry but with like cleansing butters and just very regular I either use extra virgin olive oil or I'll use jojoba oil because those are the natural almost naturally it mimics the natural oils that are in my skin already so it doesn't leave my skin dry all while taking that makeup off but if I want to go even extra with the makeup and this is only if I wear makeup do I do these extra steps I will use the micellar uh, simple cleansing water this I find removes even if I don't have makeup, I didn't wear makeup that day after washing my face and just putting this on a cotton pad and rubbing it over my face and taking that extra uh, layer of dirt off that probably my soap didn't get, I feel like it's not harming, it's not drying. It leaves my skin feeling very soft and clean. So after I wash my face and make sure it's completely washed, makeup or no makeup, then I like to put on a toner. A toner just balances out your skin, your pH balance, and it sets your skin. It makes it sets your it makes your skin ready 
for the moisturizer process I feel so before I learned about this product I used to use um, witch hazel basic witch hazel or I will use apple cider vinegar mixed with water and just pat it over my face just a natural uh, situation but I was watching one of Jackie Aina's videos and she um, brought up the lotion PF 1970 I don't know if you guys could see that 1970 uh, toner and she talked about how it just evened out her skin and it, the tingling sensation and I am one of those people who I love love buying things off like if I see it off the TV or whatnot just to try it out and she kept talking about this for as long as I've known her so I said I'm not gonna buy the big bottle I will buy the little bottle and I've been using it for about a month now and let me tell you in the beginning it t it was like it felt it doesn't have a good smell I'll tell you that much it the smell is disgusting but it makes my skin feel like it's working I hate I like to I like when things feel like they're working I feel like that's why I always pick the other products that I shouldn't pick on my skin because I wanted it to feel like it was working the best thing I love about this is like since I gained weight you know you like you get like fat on your neck and sometimes that fat can turn into like dark marks or whatever and what I liked about this since I started using it is that the dark marks started to fade away also be what I was using as well was vitamin C this is uh, 20% vitamin C it brightens and renews the skin every person of the dark persuasion african-american whatever that has a little bit of melanin in their skin going all the way to a lot of melanin that has to have vitamin c in their regimen vitamin c is, brightens your skin but not only brightens your skin if you have any dark marks like for me i had a lot here and i don't break up but when i do i like to pick at it and then it leaves a dark mark until my neck is it so i had a lot here i had a lot you know what i'm saying other than my uh chicken pox scar I had a whole bunch of other like dark marks and that was because I picked at it and using the vitamin C as my adding it to my daily regimen has been helping darken the dark marks on my skin I need to work out on my dark circles because that has gotten really intense so if you guys have any like advice or anything that you want to share about me getting rid of that let me know other, another thing that I've been using that helps with dark circles, I mean not dark circles, but um, helps me from getting my skin being burnt in this New York sun and also with helping with dark um, marks all over from my neck to my face is SPF. The higher the SPF, I feel the better. And this is Josie Marin SPF. Um, it has argan oil in it and it's also SPF 45. So this is great. Everybody needs SPF. No matter what color you're in, you need sunscreen lotion. And this is just an added layer. I used to go through moisturizers a lot because some would leave my skin very greasy. Some would leave my skin very dry as if I didn't even put moisturizer on. I got this uh, C plus E antioxidant protect and repair moisturizer from Sunday Riley when i tell you guys this has made the most difference in my skin just after a week using it my skin felt so much plumper it felt so much softer it felt it looked more alive this has vitamin c in it and it's not greasy I feel like i can actually come out of the house with no makeup on since i've been using this especially this moisturizer especially but i use this in the daytime i also use this at night but i did in the night time i feel like you that's when you pour you pour on the most moisturizer ever because then you go to sleep and then you wake up and your skin is all nice and soft and with that being said i go to my hitter quitter like my road dog for life like this will never leave my sight no matter if 
any of these products I listed. You don't buy, buy this. Shea butter, honey. Shea butter. And if you guys follow me for a long time, you guys know I have a store which I sell whipped shea, shea um, butter and shea cream that has citrus in it as well that brightens your skin. And I use shea butter all over my body and I use it on my face at night after I, after I cleanse my face. And it leaves my face so soft, so buttery, so nice in the morning. These are the things that help your girl get this uh nice skin that you guys rave about <laughs> and say that I look so good without it with no makeup on and I appreciate it so much you guys are such a blessing um I love you guys so much for watching I'll see you later tiger lilies toodles